Today is Friday, December 16th. I've got no theme for you today. I've got six randomly found stock setups. Take them or leave them. I show them for your trading pleasure. Starting off with Western Union. I think we all know what Western Union is about, but it's really now competing with PayPal and uh, companies like that. So we have a stock that moved above resistance and pulled back. You say, okay, that's a failure, but let's see. Nice volume on the rally, hardly any volume on the pullback. So I like this stock if and when it can get back above that level. And we're talking, what is that there? About 2180. So I think if it can get back above that level, it'll also be breaking a flag like structure uh, in the short term. If it, if it can get above there, you can see here on the hourly chart. If it can get above that level, I think we have a, a breakout. This thing's back in play. All right, next one is Teradata, tech stock. You can see it's got a broken trend line to the upside and a pause. You want to see it break through this consolidation here. I don't know if indicators are telling us very much. Nothing there, nothing there, uh, not a whole lot. So I think you're just looking at pure price action here. You want it to break above the, the current little consolidation. And you can see that it actually is a resistance area right there. So what you want to have it do is move above this level around 29 give or take and that would be your setup next is Alcoa I don't think I need to tell you what kind of pattern that looks like possible double top pattern and of course it's not really complete until it moves below support here just because you have two peaks does not make it a double top it has to go below that level so it's just under 29 so it's just something to watch out for you can see it does have confirming RSI falling on the peaks. I don't know if any other indicators tell you much. Not really. Not a whole lot there. Uh, the momentum you'd expect to all be looking the same. Anyway, double top potential on Alcoa. Adobe. Now look at this one. This had a, a nice little setup going with a pause like we looked at the other stock. A pause and then look at this. Jumps up here today and it just cracks. Well, what, what's going on there? Well, um, I'm just looking at the news headlines, and this one just caught my eye. Adobe reports record revenue and net income. And then the stock does this key outside day reversal to the downside. So I would say this thing is broken. Beware. Next up, more tech. Computer Associates. There's that trend line breakout with the pause pattern again. Kind of like it. Uh, not much going on with RSI. Unbalanced volume. Look at that. At new highs. So I do like Computer Associates, but you got to have it break out of this little range here. I don't know how aggressive you want to be. Do you want to wait for 33, maybe a little bit lower? But there's a good positive setup if it can prove itself by moving higher. And finally, Rio Tinto. Uh, the stock's main exchange is Australia, so it's pretty gappy in, in this exchange, in our domestic exchange. But what we have here is a potential island reversal pattern here over the past looks like six days six trading days so just again with Alcoa here's a, a metals mining stock just a little warning here from Rio Tinto I'm not advocating selling it but this is definitely a warning and goes against the the uh, theme that we've had lately with the Trump rally and how these basic materials and mining and infrastructure related type stocks are doing better I don't know something seems to have stumbled here that's it six picks from all over the place take them or leave them and we'll see you next time.